out by priming my face and I think this one is new. It's from Huda Beauty and it is the Matte Perfection Pre Makeup Base. This one is mattifying so it's good for oily skin but they also have one that is called I think like something Perfection Face and you can also mix them together. I'm going to take a little bit of this. Wow this is a little this part is kind of cool. I really like her packaging. Oh wow. It has a very, very light scent. It smells kind of good. It's like a light, very light, fresh scent. It feels a little like it feels a little sticky, but not in a bad way. It feels good. So foundation, again, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. I really liked this one. It worked really well for my skin, so I'm going to do this again. And I'm in the color Y245. I really, really like this foundation. I'm using Tarte Shape Tape. And I think I'm kind of running out. The look that I kind of wanted to try to recreate is this one right here from Kylie Jenner posted it, I think, like a couple days ago. It's like a purple pink type of look. A little bit closer. So I was going to try to recreate that. Obviously I don't have white or blonde hair. I'm, I'm not trying to look like Kylie. That ship has sailed a long time ago. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to recreate the makeup look. So we're just going to kind of have to get past the dark hair. I'm gonna set that before that creases on me. So first I'm gonna prime my lid and I'm taking Smashbox Lid Primer. I really like this one. This is gonna count, um, prevent any creasing. And then I'm gonna take my Sigma Persuade eyeshadow base still even after using that lid primer just because this helps really cancel any discoloration which I have on my eyelid and I just I use it all the time so the palette that I'm going to be using is the Urban Decay Born to what did I say Born to Run I think um, I really like this palette I'm going to take this soft matte um, beige color and I'm going to apply that just to kind of set my base and it helps um, the shadows that you put on top blend so then I'm going to take my E40 Sigma brush and I'm going to blend out that first kind of like matte matte burgundy color and I'm going to blend that into the crease and then I'm going to take this cover effects liquid eyeshadow and I just apply this is kind of optional but I just applied this just to make the shadow I'm going to put on top a little bit lighter since it wasn't as light as I thought it was going to be and just to add a little bit of shimmer so then I added this um, pinkish color it wasn't as light as I thought it was going to be like the one Kylie had. She had a much lighter pink, but I just wanted to use one palette to try to use one palette. So I kind of just went with it. And then I took the purple shimmery shade, which was really close to what she had in her picture. And I applied that to the ha outer half of my eyelid and just blended that out. And then I made a big mistake. <laughs> oh. oh my God. Oh. oh my god so then in the picture she had like a darker purple on the outer corner of her eye so I used the morphe dare to create palette and just added that to the outer corner of my eye only the two purples were good but the pink should have been a little bit lighter she had a really like pink 
pink and then in the inner corner she had a really like neon pink color so I used Sugar Pills Love Buzz shadow or loose pigment and just apply that to the inner corner and then on the lower lash line and I'm making sure to close that <laughs> on the lower lash line um, I took this really like soft brown color from the Urban Decay palette I really really loved this color it was like the perfect under eye color and it looked like she had a little bit of a lighter brown color under her lash line and that was basically it and some like soft fluffy lashes I had a little bit of a disaster but okay to warm up my face a little bit I'm gonna take this Jouer light to medium duo bronzer and I'm gonna use a lighter one All right. I really like this Jouer um, contour palette. My jawline, because we are not as snatched as Kylie. And I will have everything listed in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. I am trying to now um, link like cheaper, the cheapest version I can find of the item. Um, so don't forget to check that out. I will have everything listed as always in the description box below. And then for blush, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Love Flush Love Hangover blush again, just because it's kind of pink. And in her picture, she had kind of more of a, a pink, pinkier blush. And then for a highlighter, I have this one from Makeup Forever. Um, this is one that I just put that I just put in inside this little case. Let me see the name. She kind of had like a it's like a really light iridescent highlight on. This is Artist Base Color Highlighter in H102. And they just you can put whichever one you want in these little cases. So I'm gonna use this one. Yeah, that's like the perfect color. She had like a very similar highlighter in that picture. And then for the lips, she kind of had like a, like a, like a darkish pinkish color. I'm gonna line my lips with the Jouer Fawn lip liner. And then I think this was a good match. It's the Makeup Forever Artist Liquid Matte in 301. At least when I tried it on my hand it was, but. It's looking a little like orange instead of. Actually, that's perfect. I'm gonna put a little bit of Dose of Colors new Nude Chica lipstick on top. Yeah, that definitely makes it like the perfect color. Mm -hmm. 